The devil fought so hard to keep you from hearing this video, but I'm glad it finally got to you. So the other day I went to the gym for the first time in a while. And they had a dude in there who had some big muscles, man. He was like 230 pounds, like 2% body fat. Like this dude was like swole. And he had a big giant gallon of water with him. And you know me, like I'm on my little machine kind of doing the lightweight, you know what I mean? And you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of, I, I, I see all my periphery. I'm like, man, this dude in shape. So in my mind, I'm like, man, I'm, I, I want to go ask him a question. You know what I'm saying? To get some advice from him. But one thing I learned is that when somebody is serious, like a bodybuilder and they working out, if you got a question or you want to talk to them, you do that in between their set. Like you don't do it while they're actively lifting. You wait until they finish their set of like 10 or 12 reps. And right when they put it down and take a little water break, then you could get your question. Because if you go up to him trying to talk to him while he doing his curls, homie ain't even going to look at you. Because he's so locked in. Because these dudes, they, they, they be serious. Their goal would be like to put on three to five pounds of, uh, of muscle every year so they could win the next competition. Because they might have got second place last year. And in their mind, they're like, dang, I need to get first. So every rep counts. So if he see a little dude walking around with a string on his head asking him a question, he ain't, he, he ain't worried about me. I don't blame you, man. Anybody with a string on their head, I ignore them too. You feel me? But anyway, so boom, I wait until he put his weights down. Boom, I went up. That's the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Boom, opportunity. I said, how you doing, man? whoop de woo wham wham you know talking a little bit i say hey i said how long you been working i say 11 years i say yeah you know what i'm saying cool cool i say look i said uh i said if you don't mind me asking how much water do you how much water do you drink a day because homie had a big gallon in his hand but he only had about that much left and it was like 7 30 in the morning because i didn't i didn't understand i'm like maybe he wake up at 1 a.m he ain't been up since 1 a.m drinking all this water yeah you know what i'm saying this might be cap you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying? Because me, I'm type of person. I'll wake up and feel it halfway and then go to the gym just so I look like I drank. <laughs> you be doing that too? <laughs> but I, I had a feeling he ain't one of them people. He looked like he really be drinking water. You know what I'm saying? So in my mind, I'm like, man, I need to give me a gallon. You know what I'm saying? Pour it all out, walk in there. You know what I'm saying? I just need his muscles though. But anyway, fast forward. So I said, uh, I asked him how much water he drink. He said he drink about a gallon a day. So I'm thinking, man, it's almost empty. It's seven o'clock. Ain't you drink more than that? But I'm, I learned to mind my own business. And I said, I said, so what are the benefits of drinking that much water? He said, I try to drink enough water before I come to the gym because that helps with the contractions. It gives you a better pump. You know what I'm saying? So he said, so if I'm doing bicep curls, I get a better contraction, which equals more muscle growth because you want your muscles to be inflated and hydrated before you come to the gym. I'm like, oh, man, I'm like, I, 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 that's what's up. He said, and also, you know, he, he kind of started giving diff, di different examples or whatever. And I told him, I t you know, I told him I get about four bottles of water a day or whatever. And I say, I, I, I'll really be like, you know, have an appetite for the water like that. He said, yeah, I used to be like that, too. But he say, the more you condition yourself to drink more water, he say, the more water you drink, the thirstier you get. He say now nah. he say my body like it's on autopilot like it's craving so much water like I got to drink it all throughout the day. You know what I mean? Because he say the more the more water I drink, the thirstier I get. He says it's easy for me now. I say all right. And see when you're talking to these dudes, you got to keep it short, man. Cuz you know what I'm saying? Like like you you got you be the one to go ahead and end the conversation cuz if not like like I mean you could kind of see him getting antsy, you know? Like when I was talking about 3 4 minutes and he kind of started moving a little bit, dancing, he trying to keep his heart rate up. In, in, in my mind, I'm like, all right, let me end the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm about to seem kind of rude. Now he in the middle of a workout. So I went on. I gave him a fist bump. I say, appreciate you, man. I say, I'm, I'm about to get on my water. Yeah, you know, that fist bump. I, let, I, let, I left him alone. After. I ain't going to bother you no more. So I went back to my little machine, lifting my little, little bitty weight. You know what I'm saying? And I couldn't help but realize something. For him, the more the more water he drink, the thirstier he get. When it comes to God, <laughs> the more time you spend with him, the more you want to spend time with him. Like the more I get in my Bible, listen, the more I read, the more I want to spend time with God. Since I've been saved, I want I just want more of him. That's our heart's desire. The Bible says he will give you the desires of your heart. That means he will teach your heart what to desire. 
He will t teach your heart to crave more of him, but you have to start drinking one bottle at a time. You got to get a scripture in. You may say, DeMarcus, I ain't got an hour to read. That's cool. Me either. A lot of times I don't read for an hour every day. I'm not going to lie to you. Some days I read more than others. You may only have three minutes or so. You know, a little bit of something is better than a whole lot of nothing. Many people, they don't read at all because they all oh, have 30 minutes or whatever. What you got? And I'm going to keep it real. Can I keep it real? When, when you take a boo-boo every day, boom, that's three minutes right there. Read, boom, 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 you know what I'm saying? Get your boo-boo. It not now. It may be funky in the bathroom. You, you know, I'm be real. You may have to be like this right here while you in your word. You see what I'm saying? You may have to. Re it, it is what it is. Just make time for God, cause that's a start. Just like my lawnmower boy, my lawnmower man. That thing on his last leg. My lawnmower barely even crank. But I, sometimes I gotta gotta crank that thing. And then finally, room, room, room. Doom, 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 doom. Once it's going, it's going. Listen to me. It it don't matter. Whatever it takes for you to get started, you start getting some word in you, and your body is gonna crave more of it. God wants you to fully depend on Him. And I'll leave you with this right here, man. Last time I went to the dentist, man, they they floss. They ever floss your teeth when you go to the dentist? I'm gonna keep it real. I don't like when they be flossing my teeth, man. I mean, they do a good job, but they floss like professionally. Like they be pulling it. Uh, uh, like they they go in, then they lean to the left, to the right, then they go down. I'm like, ooh, got my mouth hurting. But I couldn't help but notice, man. Whenever they floss, whatever they pull out, they will wipe it. Like on the they have, you know, they put the little napkin on the side of you. They'll do that or whatever. And see, after they, it might be a little TMI, but it's what it is. Right after they finish flossing or whatever, and they finish, you know, everything, whatever. I always like to look at the napkin. I try not to look at it, but I, curiosity, I always look at it. And I say, dang, like, that's all that I was carrying in my mouth. And that tells us, DeMarcus, just because you carry that well, don't mean you should be carrying it. And also, you were unaware of what you've been carrying. And what God wants us to know is, you're not aware of what you're carrying. All the shame, the guilt, uh, 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 uh. You know what I'm saying? All the fear, all the doubt. You know what I'm saying? All the worry. Sometimes we holding on to stuff we don't even know. And it takes a professional to come and do a real floss and pull out everything that, that, that has been weighing us down. That's what the word of God does. That's why I want you to get in it. Because I know what it does for me. It sets me free. And it can set you free too, man. Please make time for God. Whatever you've been holding on to, whatever you've been wrestling with. Sometimes we got we try so hard to control things in life. We got our grip is so tight on things. To, you have to learn to loosen your grip and give it to God, man. You 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 got to release control and let God be God. You got me. Let him floss, man. Get in his word. See, when you open his book, he opens his mouth. You start to read the Bible and the Bible starts to read you because the Bible says the word of God is quick and sharp, sharper than any two edged sword. It can pierce your situation. And God knows what you're dealing with. He can he can do surgery on your heart and give you peace. He give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. That means it's so overwhelming that you're going to be mind blown and you're going to say, I, I see what DeMarc is talking about. I see why DeMarc is them videos. Because the word of God for me is a treasure. And who am I to hide it from you, man? I ain't that type of person. You got me? I want you to have that peace too, all right? So make sure you get in your word today. And get in it every day. Because a steady stream of God's word is a steady stream of God's peace. You got me? You, you going to get your word every day? Man, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. <laughs> I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words. I will always make time for God. Because that's right. We're going to make time for God. Because time spent with God is never time wasted. It's an investment into your spiritual piggy bank. You feel me? Be sure to get your copy of my 31-day devotional. It's called Thirsty for That Word. It's 31 days. I guarantee you will love it. If you placed an order before today, your order gets shipped out this week. You feel me? All right, and if you place an order today, your order will probably gets sent out by the end of this week. You feel me? Hey, I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.